Dear friend, I'm Dr. John Eckridge. I'm a physician, an internist, and gastroenterologist, but more importantly, I'm a cancer survivor. I've survived an aggressive form of prostate cancer uh, and now cancer-free for six years. It's my privilege to sit with you today and offer a prayer regarding the cancer struggles that you're experiencing at this time. So let's take a moment just to quiet ourselves, take some nice deep breaths, uh, perhaps use your spiritual imagination and place yourself at the foot of the cross or in the arms of the Good Shepherd and join me in a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we come to you this day, we come to your throne of grace and mercy because we in faith know you are active and present in all of creation. Our friends and even ourselves on occasion are dealing with doubt, the doubt of your presence as we struggle with this cancer, which is now threatening everything we hold dear, our family and our friends, our livelihood, our very life itself. Lord, we ask, we humbly ask, where are you? And yet we remember your promise to us in your word, your promise to always be with us, to always be near us. We remember your prophet Elijah as he fled from Jezebel. And in his despair, you promised Elijah that you were not going to come in the thunder or the fire or the wind or the storm, but you were going to come in the whisper, in the soft sounds of silence in the prayer. So we hear the silence of the swallow of a pill or the dripping ping of chemotherapy, or we hear the whirl and the buzz of radiation beams, and we listen to the confident, non-anxious encouragement of doctors and nurses and therapists and pastors and spiritual leaders as we realize the prayers of family and friends, prayer warriors from around this land offered to you on our behalf. We know in this quiet, you are surely present. Your power of healing, that same power that could raise your beloved son from the dead is at work within us, working according to your will. We know your will is for our good. Your will is for the good of all those who love you. We know your will is for healing and restoration. Immediately, as in a miracle of sudden healing, if that's your will, so be it. Or eventually, through a process of surgery or radiation or chemotherapy, so be it, Lord. Or ultimately, to bring us even broken as we are now into your presence in eternity. If that is your will, so be it, Lord. We place ourselves into your healing hands, into your ever-present hands and heart, and we offer this prayer from our hearts in the name of our Savior and brother, your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with your spirit.